Hey, I'm Julie Kalin, your voice of happiness. And today I wanted to talk a bit about choosing the right microphone for your voice. Whether you're a voiceover artist, a singer, or you just want to have great sounding audio on your YouTube videos like this. I could definitely help you with that and give you some suggestions on what I think you should do. Um, before I jump into that, I just wanted to take a quick second to also remind you to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not yet for happiness tips as well as great music and beautiful voice artistry, my um, voiceovers and singing that has been enjoyed by millions of people around the world, as well as fun and helpful videos like this to help you as well. So let's get down to choosing the right microphone for your voice and for your needs. Um, well, what I personally use, I'm always asked this all the time, is I use a Studio Projects T3 microphone, and that is a tube condenser microphone, a large diaphragm condenser microphone, and that is this microphone right here. I love that microphone. And um, whenever, if you're serious about investing in a good microphone for either singing or uh, voiceovers or for your, your YouTube channel, definitely invest in a large diaphragm condenser microphone. That is the industry standard. It does not have to be a tube microphone. I'm personally a, a big tube fan. I like the warmth and the sound and the character of my voice when I am doing voiceovers or singing through a, a tube microphone. So that's just my personal preference. Um, you don't have to do that. But um, like I said, I, I just love the sound. And what I would recommend to you if you are looking for, uh, if you're just starting out looking for a high quality microphone or if um, you're looking for a new microphone, um, I'm probably going to have to go through this myself because I was just searching online and I cannot um, find really anyone that sells the T3 anymore. And so I'm probably going to have to get a different microphone at, at some point. Um, so what I would do when getting a new microphone is go to like my local, um, you know, guitar center, music store around you and ask the person working there to try out their microphones. Because, you know, whatever you read about a microphone online, you never know how you personally are going to sound in that microphone until you try it out. You know, you, you just have to hear how you sound throughout through a microphone before you you purchase it. And so ask to try out various microphones. You know, sometimes when I go microphone shopping, they will plug in a bunch of different microphones, you know, five, six, seven microphones, and I will um, either voice a line, um, sing a line or two, and hear how I sound through each of those microphones. And sometimes they'll even, um, you know, record it and then play it back so you could listen to it. And because the choice of a microphone is is a very personal thing, and um, also what sounds good to my voice might not sound good to your voice if you have a completely different type of voice. So it's not a one-size-fits-all kind of thing. So what I recommend doing, if you can do that at all, if you have any local music stores around you, is to go try them out. And if you don't have any um, music stores around you that, that have a good microphone selection, or if you're just uh, you know somewhere that doesn't have that option, another good suggestion is to find maybe someone that has a recording studio in your area. You know, it doesn't have to be a huge recording studio. It can be. Um, or it could just be someone that has a simple um, home recording studio where they either record music themselves or they record voiceovers themselves and you know maybe you have a friend of yours that does this or uh, maybe you know you could just connect with someone on social media in your area that does this and you could be like hey could I could I try just try out your microphone you know I'm, I'm thinking of of purchasing one I really want to hear I sound through this and you know if, maybe they'll be like yeah sure and if, of course if they're like a bigger a commercial studio, or if they're not a personal friend of yours, they might charge you a bit for for doing that. And you know, I I would definitely seriously consider doing that because if you're going to make a investment in a microphone that you hope to have for years, and that is anywhere from you know several hundred dollars up to a thousand dollars or more for for 
lots of microphones. I would definitely, uh, you know, invest the whatever, $25, 50 bucks, 100 bucks or whatever that person is going to charge you because it could definitely be be worth the money because you know micro good microphones um you know they're 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 an investment they're not they're not cheap so i would definitely recommend doing that as well and um you know if you're not comfortable with any of those um or there's no studios or no one else that you could connect with in your area like that sells microphones uh the other option you have is to you know read online forums stuff like that read reviews of various microphones online and then just do your best to um to order one online and but one very important thing i want to mention about that is to be very 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 careful about their return policies because depending on the state and where you buy the microphone from um where i live in illinois like some if you go to like a brick and mortar store they consider illinois as some sort of really weird health rule that if you talk into a microphone they consider that like a uh, public health hazard so they won't return um, microphones because I'm just telling you what uh, Guitar Center told me once. They said it's it's like a public health hazard to to return a a microphone. You know, when in reality, other states have different laws about that. So whenever I purchased a microphone, I was sure to um, not purchase it in Illinois. I was I was careful to purchase it from from out of state. And um, some good places where you could get a quality microphone online is, um, and I'll put these links in the description box as well. Um, Some places where I've purchased before are from Sweetwater, there's um, B&H Photo Video, they sell microphones as well, as well as a company called Bananas at Large. I think it's bananas.com and I will put the link to that below as well. Those are ones that I know that you can um, return many microphones, but I cannot stress this enough. Before you purchase the microphone and don't just ask them, do you return microphones? Ask about the specific microphone that you intend to purchase because sometimes they might let you return one, but they might not let you return another due to various company policies or manufacturing policies. So so definitely check on that, especially if you're going to spend a few hundred dollars in a microphone, a few thousand dollars. Um, if you're going to invest that kind of money, you want to get it home and know that you sound good in this microphone. And if you get it home and you're like, oh, you know, I was hoping I'd, I'd sound better through this microphone, you want to be able to to return it and um, get a different microphone with that money. You don't want to be stuck in a um, no return policy. Um, you don't want to be stuck in that position if they have uh, some sort of a policy like that. So those are my main tips for um, investing in a, a microphone and choosing the right microphone for your voice and that you like. And another thing I want to say about this is um, I, for me, and you know, my voice, this this voice here, or this microphone has, uh, my voice through this microphone has been heard by millions of people around the world. And it's it's not a super high-end microphone. This microphone cost me um, $600 new. And for me personally, I'm not the per- kind of person that thinks you need to spend thousands of dollars to get a good microphone. I think you could get great microphones. Um, for under a thousand dollars, so for me, um, searching for a new microphone, I would probably spend you know seven hundred, eight hundred. Uh, you know, maybe I could find a good one for six hundred, but I would kind of expect to, for me, when I'm microphone shopping, to stick around maybe seven hundred, eight hundred dollars. Um, I, I, but I do do this professionally. If you can't afford that amount, it is a good investment because I personally would not feel comfortable um, sending a, a voiceover file to to a client, you know, on a, on a two hundred dollar microphone. Of course, if you're just starting out and voiceovers are singing and you don't have the budget for a seven hundred dollar microphone, of course, start out where you're at. You know, budgets budgets important, but for me, I would not. I'm not going to go crazy spending thousands of dollars on a microphone. I just don't think it's worth it when you could get um, just as good quality for for pretty much under a thousand dollars. If you have um, 
tons, many thousands of dollars lying in your in your uh, bank account, um, where you could afford to get um, microphones that cost many thousands of dollars. Hey, more power to you if you really want it. Um, but think about investing that money in. Um, you know, marketing your business if you're serious about voiceovers or serious about, um, you know, even YouTubing or singing. I I think your money is better spent in a um, in marketing rather than a many thousand dollar microphone. That's just my take on it from working in um, in these industries for for many years. Um, and yeah, so I think those are the highlights. But oh, it. it I think those are the highlights, but I just wanted to share with you some funny things um, about a ten thousand dollar microphone. If you're pressed for time, those are the highlights. So you could turn <laughs> turn the video off now. But if you want some extra happiness and funny tips, um, some funny reviews of a ten thousand dollar microphone online, stick around for this because I totally got a, a kick out of this. So um, let me look at this. So. This is a microphone. I am not kidding you. And I'm going to put a link to this in the um, in the description box as well for a um, Sony C800G large diaphragm um, tube condenser mic that is on Amazon for the low price of $13,499.99. Wow. <laughs> so, you know, I... I I unless I was a multi-billionaire, I would not spend uh, thirteen thousand dollars on a microphone. But hey, that's just me. Um, but some of the reviews I just want to share with you on on Amazon are completely hilarious. This is this is uh, this was my happiness and laugh boost for the day um, because I could tell too some of these reviews are fake, but they're but they're hilarious for on this. Uh, $13,000 microphone. So someone wrote, can't beat the price. Great mic. I sold my kidney and my home. Now I live inside this fantastic microphone. Isn't that funny? But I mean, it's so true, right? <laughs> it's at that price. Yeah, you could sell your kidney in your home and uh, yeah, get a microphone instead. Yeah, not recommended. Um, here's a, another funny review I saw on this got this because I saw it in Lil Wayne's studio. I saw this microphone being used by Lil Wayne, so I decided to use nine credit cards to make a purchase on this. And I gotta say, this thing is crisp and solid. If you can find the time and money to get this, you should. It'll last you forever and will give you the best quality in the industry. So, so another recommendation for me is, you know, if you have to spend, use nine credit cards to um, get your microphone, Probably not a good idea. <laughs> Probably invest in a uh, a cheaper microphone. Just just my common sense thoughts on on this. Um, someone else recorded a funny comment on this that says, "I record my parrot with this. Best squawking I ever recorded. Great. I love this stuff. Um, my this is my uh, entertainment for the day. Seeing this. Um, someone wrote to another review." Being broke with a big mic is greater than being broke. <laughs> and this person wrote, my mom thinks out thinks my mom thinks I took out a student loan for college with a uh, smiley face after it. And I'm like, yeah, if you if you have to take out a uh, large student loan or large loan for your microphone, probably a better idea not to do it. So I just thought I just thought that was hilarious and you don't know a good point too that you have to, um, you know, also be careful about what you read on the reviews on Amazon because I I'm like, you know, I'm pretty sure those aren't real. They are funny, um, but but so you know, read the reviews, read what people say about the microphones, but you know, um, you know, don't don't trust them so much. Trust your own voice and how you sound through the microphone, and you know. Try them out at your local music store, at a local recording studio. If you don't have that option, you know, buy it online from somewhere where um, you there's a good return policy. So if you get it home and you're like, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I thought I'd sound better through this. Um, 
then you could return it and uh, get one that's better suited to you. In the description box, I will also put links to some microphones. You know, if this one ever broke on me, heaven for forbid, where I would probably turn to um, to get my next microphone. And um, you know, ones I would I would consider for me because I'm not one to you know, spend all day um, searching online for gear or anything. Like I said, I think I think your money is better invested in um, marketing your business, you know, improving your talent because, um, you know, you, you're going to, if you have the talent level, um, you are going to do just great whether you have a, um, you know, $700 microphone as opposed to that 13000 one on Amazon, which I cannot recommend, but I can recommend... Um, you know, the Studio Projects T3 and some of the other microphones that I am going to be putting in the description box below. So I hope this video helped you. Definitely please comment on it and ask me if you have any questions about choosing microphones or what you do to choose a good microphone for your voice. And um, also, like I said, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet. And if you'd like to keep in touch with me, my email is in the description box as well. And there's also a link where you can sign up for my free email newsletter so that we can keep in touch and you could be notified when I release my future YouTube videos. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this video and I am wishing you much happiness and joy. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.